Adjutant Nightingale has dispatched personnel to control and investigate those sleepwalkers, as well as clean up the traces of sinner activity. I'll stand guard downstairs. Adjutant Nightingale said the Eastsiders hate sinners. We must keep a low profile so as not to hinder your work. Tate! Come, quick! Toasted marshmallows, braised meatballs, and sweet buttermilk tea. Eastside really is a f***ing awesome place. Come thank me! Ah! I won't let her run around again, Chief. Please keep a close watch on your belongings next time. If anything happens, call me and I will be there right away. Okay, uh, let's get to know each other. I'm Doyle, Inspector. I mean, former Inspector. I'll get my job back soon. You work for the old foxes too. You don't look like it. You look like a newbie at Mo. <clears throat> Thanks for what you did just now. I'm not used to fighting those things. The bigwigs want you to take over this case. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Uh, remember this place. Use it as a contact point or a safe house. Up to you. The Ninth Agency checked for safety issues already, so it'll have to do. You'd be even less welcome elsewhere. Uh, and there's this notebook. It's trash. I won't need it anymore. You can have it. I don't know. This isn't Syndicate. But there aren't any sinners here in Eastside, so not that much trouble around here. <laughs> Why'd they send such a starry-eyed rookie? You don't know how to handle the black goo. You've been running errands in West District, haven't you? Then remember, this isn't West District. Eastsiders won't be so calm when they see things like mania. There hasn't been a mania outbreak east of the Rust in years. The detection station covers all of Eastside. Although it cannot pinpoint precise locations, it can still detect if a general area has anything unusual. We can only be sure that there is an intermittently active center in District 14. As for whether or not he or she has anything to do with the sleepwalkers, pfft, I'm no expert, so I can't say. If we do things my way, we should just be practical and focus on the sleepwalkers themselves. <laughs> what good timing. This is a witness who has volunteered to come. I'll let you question him for practice in a bit, but don't say anything unnecessary. Oh, so the bigwigs really did send someone to check up on things. Doyle, you better be on your best behavior. Maybe this bureaucrat lady will help you get your job back. Go f yourself. That mouth of yours really doesn't know when to talk tough and when to do sweet talking. No wonder your wife left you.
Hi, I'm a physician from the neighborhood clinic. I used to work for the laboratory of the District 14 Public Security Bureau. The ex-inspector and I used to be colleagues. Uh, no need to know my name. I'm here to give you some clues. As half a sleepwalker myself, I hope I can bring some progress to this stalled case. Yeah, because of my work, I've come into contact with some sleepwalkers and have a rough idea of their illness. If you can call it an illness, that is. Plus, not long ago, I also started showing some of the symptoms. I'm not sure. The only change in my life during that time was switching sleep meds. I rely on sleep meds a lot. When I become resistant to one type of meds, I switch to another. Someone recommended me a new type a while back, so I tried it out. How do I put it? The effect was outstanding. I'm really ashamed that as a doctor, I developed drug dependence. If it hadn't been so hard to get those meds back then, I don't know how I would have turned out. I think so. Different people seem to have different levels of resistance to it. I'm one of the lucky ones. Those with weaker wills are more affected. <laughs> if they really did something to me, I would have been sent to the detection station by now. This isn't Syndicate. It's harder to see a sinner than to shake hands with the head of the council. I know what you're thinking, but my situation has nothing to do with mania. Even if you include my patients, my social circle is quite small. I haven't met any sinners, and the alarms in District 14 haven't gone off for a long time. I haven't seen any black goo, let alone sinners. My M value has always been within normal range. You're very safe. In addition to vomiting the infamous black goo, sleepwalkers also suffer from uncontrollable lethargy, intermittent memory loss, dispiritedness, and a sharp drop in metabolism when sleeping. Really? I had been sleeping for 57 hours straight. When I woke up, I wasn't dehydrated, hungry, or feeling anything out of the ordinary. Do you still think this is normal? Let me put it this way. When I was asleep, I had many sweet dreams. When I woke up, all my physical functions were fine, but my memories became jumbled. Some bad memories became blurred and jumbled together. It took me a while to figure out what's bothering me in the first place. It's as if my bad memories have been squeezed out. Maybe it's not the best metaphor, but it does feel like they've been squeezed out. Do you guys have any more questions? You're right. There are a lot of rumors about it. Maybe you've heard of the name, Ambrosia. True to its name, it's a heavenly new drink. Very sweet. Holy sh**, Gandalf, why didn't you say this earlier? I told you this last week, Inspector. You didn't pay attention. I heard this name recently. I know where to buy this stuff. So, the incredible inspector finally found his groove again? <laughs>